Welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new here, I'm Mitzi. And for those of you guys that are coming back, welcome back. So right off the bat, I want to say I got bit. I don't know by what, but this is temporary. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm late. Typical. Um, it is Friday, which means I'm picking up the girls. But I have a busy day today. So I was like, oh, why don't we? This is sunscreen going to Why don't we vlog? Cause hell yeah, right? So I'm also using this. So let me go ahead and go over some questions from my boob job. Um, so this is two weeks postpartum. I have, um, ooh, ooh. ooh. Um, I have a sports bra on, so they're flat. Oh, um, so I'm super excited over my results. I go to my doctor's today. Um, I go to my doctor's today, and that's fun because I cannot. Oh, damn it! I cannot wait. Let me just all over the place, but um, I cannot wait to see what he thinks. Um, I actually just found out that. They ruptured one of my veins so it's actually been extremely painful you can't really tell on camera but it's this right here and then this right here and it's so weird because um, it's never happened it's really painful and I don't know if there's any fixing it. I think you just have to let it fix itself you know kind of like a starfish just grow back okay guys so I'm back so I went ahead and grabbed my questions so they're right here um, and I'm gonna answer them. First of all, if you guys are participating on my Instagram, thank you so much. It makes it so much easier to create content. I kinda wanna know what you guys wanna hear. So, thanks for that, guys. I appreciate it. Um, I have to figure out how to get out of here in five minutes. But let's go ahead and start with question number one. Um, so this is obviously about my breast augmentation. Breast um, augmentation video part one is already up. I am obviously filming the question part right now, but, um, okay. So it says, would you do it again? Um, yes, absolutely. I love my tits. <laughs> um, I would do it again, actually. Um, I am very 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 satisfied with my results so yes absolutely I would do it again um, I would plan it extremely different um, I think there's some questions on that later on um, I definitely underestimated how difficult the recovery was gonna be um, I, I try to assume that it was gonna be less than my c-section um, but it's, I mean, which it is, um, the first day was pretty bad and I'll go over that, um, in a different video, but yeah, I definitely underestimated the recovery. So up to the next question, would you have the same support system? Um, no, yes and no. Um, even though I'm very grateful, I didn't plan it correctly. So again, um, no, I I don't, I don't want to say no like in a rude way or like that no one was helpful. I think it was just so much on everyone and so many people had to get involved and I'm so blessed to have people that want to just jump in all in and help me out because again, I didn't plan for this to be this bad. Like literally my idea was Laura was gonna drop me off and she was gonna, uh, yeah, drop me off and then she was gonna pick me up from surgery, just help me get upstairs, you know, maybe to the bed. And then I'm just gonna sleep all day or, you know, I was just gonna watch TV all day and just take care of myself. No, that's not even close to what happened. So, no, um, I would, I would do it completely different. Um, yeah, I think I would have, 
I would have done the timing different too. It's just, I'll, I'll go over it in a different video because it's more details, but no, I wouldn't have the same support system because I didn't plan for it right. It was, it was really, it was really difficult on me. Um, let's see. What's the biggest heads up you can give someone getting them? Plan correctly. Um, so I guess this is pretty much talking about that, I guess. But yeah, I would definitely say plan correctly. Um, if you have children, you cannot do this by yourself. Um, you literally can't drive on the medication. I had a final due and I needed to ask for an extension because of the simple fact that I couldn't even stay awake. And so luckily when I, I mean, it was very obvious that I couldn't um, stay alone with the girls. So I ended up um, going to my cousins, but yeah, you, if I can give you a heads up and you're anything like me or have somewhat the same lifestyle as me, as far as, you know, it's just you and your kids alone, whether it's sometimes like kind of like me, um, yeah, you need to plan accordingly. Like this is a serious surgery and it's not like you're just getting your lips done. So I wish I had planned that. Um, so yeah, so that would be the biggest heads up. Um, other than that, the pain really isn't that bad after like the first day. Let me see. How many CCs did you get? So I actually got 360 CCs. Um, I got measured at Victoria's Secret. Remember, I am two weeks post-op. Two weeks, two days. Um, so, as of right now, I am a 36D. Um, and, yeah, I got I got uh, 360 uh, cc's, which I think was absolutely perfect. We were walking a really fine line of what was big which is what I wanted but what was too big um which was gonna make me look fat and I feel like my doctor absolutely nailed it like we I had no idea what or how many cc's I was gonna get even as I signed for my um my surgery so like I was already changed which is what you guys saw in the last video or two videos ago and I still didn't know how many cc's I was going to get. So my option, my range was 345 to 360. And I was, he was like, well, um, which one do you want? And I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Like, you know what I want. You make that call. So yeah, so he made 360 cc. And I honestly am super, super satisfied with them. Um, they are, at first I was really nervous. Um, that they were, you know, going to be way too big. And, you know, now I'm just kind of like, I hope they're going to be smaller. And my cousin's like, Mitzi, they're literally implants. They cannot get any more smaller. I was like, well, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. But, yeah. So, that. So, that's how many CCs I got. Um, let me see. Next question. Because, ah, we have people participating. Thank you so much. Okay, let's see. Um, oh my god, I have to go. Um, it says, that's awesome. I can't wait to get mine done. But I low-key want to wait late, uh, until later once I have kids. LOL. Yes. Um, I think if you are going to want them when you're 18, 19, at a time where you really aren't going to have kids anytime soon, then sure. Um, I wish I would have gotten mine at 18, but I'm because I've, I've, I've always wanted my breast done at, since I was 14. Um, so I've always known that I wanted this. I'm not about, you know, putting people down because they want plastic surgery. Like everyone, like go mind your own goddamn business. It's not, it's nobody's business. It's not your body and it's not harming you. It's not harming anyone. So chill. Um, that's how I feel about that. So if you want to go and get your breast done at 18 because that's gonna make you feel better than do you boo i i make sure you're working on yourself and you know so confident as it is but it does boost up like your confidence if it's a little bit of an insecurity that you have like i had boobs everyone said i had a boobs and they're like oh you're crazy 
But like, I knew that this is what I wanted. I knew I wanted them at a specific size. I wanted them to look a certain way. I wanted my body to look a certain way. And guess what? I got them done and my confidence level went up so much. And I, you literally cannot put a price tag on how confident and how good I feel about myself again. Like, you, you just really can't. And so, I am, don't get me wrong, I am doing a lot of like self healing. I am in therapy and you know, I am working through some stuff and things like that. But um, all I'm trying to say is that if that's what you want to do, just do it. Um, I mean, there's a difference between getting things done and then having like addiction to plastic surgery. Um, I think that's two different things, but enhancing something here or there, like chill out people. It's really not that big of a deal. So yes, if you are getting close, if you're closer to my age, absolutely wait for it till you have kids. Um, because you know, they're going to change your kids will destroy. Ugh. So it's not, it's not enough that your body gets, you know, like ugh, your breasts, your, your, your girls get ruined, <laughs> ruined. So yes, I agree with that. I would definitely wait just wait it out um and once you're done having kids you know let's go girl let's go bump yes um oh God, my legs. okay it says i hope your recovering is going well and happy belated birthday beautiful oh not a question but thank you for those of you guys that don't know it was my birthday last saturday Woo! So thank you so much for that. And then it says, how much I need, how did you do it? Um, how did you do it? Uh, well, I did it. The doctor did, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what, what you mean by, by how did you do it? Like, how did I pay for it? Well, with money, I mean, I don't know. I think that's private. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna answer that um, how much it just kind of depends on I'm not gonna disclose how much mine cost because again that's private um, you definitely want to take care of them because they are a pretty penny but again worth it um, yeah um, it just kind of depends I got I got um, the silicone I got silicone gummies and I mean I don't know google it hope that wasn't rude but it just kind of depends um it was not five dollars hmm that's okay um how much was it um again it was um i'll actually so this is a friend of mine so i'll actually go ahead and dm her and give her my exact total of how much it was um, but again, just look it up and kind of, there's a range of what it kind of is, I guess. Um, how long was the recovery? So I'm still in recovery. Recovery is about four to six weeks. Um, according to my surgeon, I am a, not a doctor, <laughs> but, um, so I don't know. Um, what I was told it was about four to six weeks, but I believe it takes a full year for them to actually like recover and have your like final results. Um, I've been hearing and I've been reading that the first four to six weeks, I think the first four weeks, it's when your breasts change like the most, like the most drastically. I think it's four weeks. It could be four months. I think it was four weeks. But again, I'm not a doctor. So um, the recovery that I really like struggled with was definitely the first week. Um, the first three days were the most difficult i stopped taking my medication um after day on day three i stopped taking my medication actually um just because at that point i had the girls um i took my antibiotics but i stopped taking like my norcos um because they kept knocking me out and i knew that i obviously couldn't be like that um even though my cousins were helping me out and you know they were all safe we were all safe it's just not something that i like to do i like to make sure that i'm always on my a game um so i kind of just 
fought through the pain and it was what it was, you know? That's another reason why I'm telling you, like, I didn't plan for it correctly. Like, I mean, I had to just sit there and kind of, you know, go through this pain when someone that, you know, maybe doesn't have the same responsibilities as me, which is fine, um, you know, can just, like, relax, go to sleep, or, like, you know, like, not have to, like, you know, go through the pain. <laughs> um so yeah so i think that that was that was really difficult but right now again i'm two weeks post-op and i feel great i want to work out i can't work out for four weeks um but like i feel great um i can't lift much so i've been feeling really bad because my my babies want to get carried and i can't but we're halfway there and then i'll be able to carry them again i do give them lots of hugs and lots of love but just carrying is just not what we can do um so that's another thing like it'd be easier if i had like a partner or you know like someone here 24 7 i feel like but i don't and it is what it is those are my cards and we are not gonna cry over it um does it feel weird no um so the bottom is actually really soft um the top is really hard it's like super weird um so no it doesn't feel weird but um i personally i mean you don't like you don't feel them like i don't feel them at all they're just part of my body now um when i like grab them you can tell the difference that the bottom is a lot softer than the top um but yeah they don't they don't feel like i don't feel any weird i any weirder um i don't feel them they're just like in in me so i don't know last question i love the video but when did you make the decision what type of implants are they size okay so kind of going over back to what i said earlier today um when did i make the decision um first of all thank you for watching my video um i made the decision when i was 14. i knew that i wanted my breast implants um i have been trying to get them done for years i just haven't been able to pull the trigger you know, I everyone kept telling me like, no, just wait, just wait till you have kids, which again, I'm kind of glad I did. But if I would have done it when I was 18, I still would have been happy today, you know. So um, it's it's I've, I've, I've been wanting to do this for over 10 years. Um, what size? Um, again, right now, as of today, I'm a 36 D. Um, and that is the thing is that. Our bras are not centralized, so just because I'm a 36D doesn't mean that I, you know, like, I just, I have to go with the doctor today and kind of, like, ask what kind of size I'm, I'm at, you know, um, and try to make it as centralized as possible because every brand is, like, completely different. For example, all my bras before my surgery were 36D. Let me show you. So this was a 36D. This is nowhere near what my bra is. Do you see like, but now I have a 36D over here, but now I have a 36D and look at how much bigger these are, you know? And I feel like it doesn't look like it fits, but it does have the trick. Um, yeah, so this is a 36D and look at the size difference on this. And this is a D. Do you see what the difference is? So, um, yeah, so according to, this one is from Victoria's Secret. Um, it doesn't have any padding. It's more like a sports bra, the one that I got, a type of feel. It's like your everyday bra or something like that. Um, but yeah, as of today, I'm a 36D. I think I maybe like a small 36 double D. Um, I don't know, but they're, they're way bigger than what they were. So that's just that's the size i guess um when you go they go by cc's that's why i was just kind of like when people like i literally went to the doctor and i said this is what i want let me show you a picture when i showed him like this is the look i'm going for get me there as close to po as close as possible and so he um he was just kind of like explaining like well yeah does it you know the size doesn't matter and i was like obviously i don't want to be like you know something crazy like that but i do want you know i do want i want big boobs so he kind of got what i was saying and you know that's where we made that decision again i don't know my official size 
but I did 36 cc's. Um, the type that I got once again was silicone um, gummies. So, yeah, I think that's it, guys. Um, I am about to be late. Oh, cool! I have to go get my bed. <gasps> yes. Um. Damn it! My little lamp isn't working. Oh, look at this. Oh, so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna just leave. Fuck it. I don't even. Oh, oh so dark. Um. Oh, what was I gonna say? Oh, let me take my laptop. So I have homework today. Um, well, I have my final due, so I'm working on it today. I'm going to go probably to Joe's Coffee because I'm going to be in Orange County anyway. Um, so I might as well. Yeah, so I might as well um, just um, head over there. Where is all my stuff? Shit. Okay, so I'm going to take this. Um, yeah, so that is that. I... No, I said that I was going to start filming on my vlogging camera and it's currently charging. So next video, I am going to go ahead and film with my vlogging camera because I want to record a couple videos this weekend. I'm hoping to post this video no later than tomorrow. So um, I'm going to be working on that, but it is finals. So it's again, a little bit difficult. Um, I feel like I have something else to do. Uh, let me bring this. Do I want to bring what I want to bring? What I want to bring? I'll bring this one. Um, yeah, so then look, see, I'm not lying. My camera's right there charging. Um, maybe I'll bring it regardless. <gasps> Why am I late? Why am I like this? Did, yeah, and yesterday I was on time. The fact that I'm like celebrating that's really sad. <sighs> oh, I just I have to make a couple of Ow! I can't think. I can't think. I can't think. Okay. Um, bad angle. So, yeah. So, anyways, I thought you guys would enjoy my little Q&A that I have going on. Um, my little Q&A going on. I am going to work. So I am going to... These are clean. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Okay. All right, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Go ahead. If you're still watching, go ahead and comment down below. Um, I like your dog. Please. <laughs> know what should what should we comment down below um i don't know comment down below like your favorite color or something i don't i don't know but anyways thank you guys so much so so much for watching thank you so much for participating on my instagram and thank you so much for subscribing if you are and if you're not um maybe consider it anyways love you guys bye